Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, September 2nd. It's Friday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. I'd like to focus on this first reading today from St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 4. So he begins by saying, Thus should one regard us as servants of Christ. So is the first thing people think about when they see you, there's a servant of Christ. Good question for us to ponder. And stewards of the mysteries of God. So a steward is one who receives uh, gifts and then um, uses them in the best possible way. They're, they're good handlers of what God has given them. So it's not about us, it's about God. Um, so now it is, of course, re required of students that they be found trustworthy. So is am I trustworthy of the gifts that God has given me? And I think a good standard for this is if I'm using the gifts God has given me, he says, you know, I'm going to take away the gifts from someone who's not going to use them, and I'm going to give them to the one who is. That's the, the, the parable of the talents. He said, this is St. Paul, I love this. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you. So as a people pleaser, these are words, important words for me to hear. You know, am I playing for Jesus or am I playing for, and I'm using that word playing, like um, am I, you know, playing for an audience of one, Mike Sweeney says. So do I worry more about what people think or what God thinks? Um, or by any human tribunal? It, I don't care, not that I don't care, it, it doesn't matter to me what everybody else thinks. He says, I don't even pass judgment on myself. So you can pass judgment on me. I'm not gonna judge whether I'm trustworthy or not before God. Um, he says, I'm not conscious of anything against me. Isn't that a great way to live? My dad always says, I want, you, I want to be able to look in the mirror and like the person that I see. And so, um, so he says, he's, he's not living in any grave sin. And we know when we're in grave sin, don't we? He says, but I do not there, thereby stand acquitted. So even though I don't feel like I have any grave sin on me, it doesn't mean I'm totally innocent. He said, I'm not, I'm not going to presume my salvation. And this is important. Sometimes uh, we hear, if, if I just claim Jesus as my Savior, I'm done. It's not exactly what Scripture uh, says here. Uh, you know, so St. Paul is saying that we should... God is the judge. We live our lives. We live virtuous lives. Uh, but ultimately, God is the judge. He says, uh, the one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time. So we shouldn't judge anybody else. We shouldn't judge ourselves. We should be living for uh, God. And uh, ultimately, he's the one that's going to be the judge. Until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden, so there might be, this is where the last will be first, the first will be last. There might be somebody that outwardly looks like they're living a perfect life, but inwardly they're, they're, they're far from God. Or vice versa, outwardly somebody may seem like, you know, they're, they're far from God, but, you know, they're walking this intimate relationship with the Lord interiorly. So we're not the judge. Um, he'll bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. So why do you do what you do? What is your motivation? Is it so other people see me, see you? Is it uh, to gain attention, uh, accolades, applause? Or am I doing it uh, for the glory and honor of God? And then everyone will receive praise from God. So if we live this, uh, this righteous life, does it mean we're perfect? None of us are gonna be perfect in this life. We're gonna be sinners. Um, but we get back up, we go to confession, we, uh, and we, we strive for holiness. We, we try to be good stewards of the gifts that God has given us and live this life uh, and be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Um, and that's why I think these, the work of the John Paul II Healing Center is so important, that they are helping priests and lay people alike to, to heal, um, to find freedom, to choose virtue, uh, instead of being compelled by our wounds to uh, do the things we don't want to do and don't do the things that we should. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for all the gifts that you give us. Help us to be humble and good stewards of your gifts. 
uh, to not judge ourselves, to not presume salvation, to not judge ourselves to hell, to not judge anyone else, but to know that you are the judge. Help us to live this life in virtue, trying to give you glory and honor in all that we say and do. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to your family, buen camino. Have a good journey. God bless.